Good day, folks. It's Tony Fortunato from the Technology Firm. A few, I guess, probably a few months ago, I wrote an article about editing packets in Wireshark, and then I reviewed Wireshark 2.0 and <laughs> mentioned how I wish it would be in there right now. And apparently, it's on the list, just not in the high priorities, which is fine. Um, and for the people who aren't familiar, uh, Jasper has a really cool tool called Trace Wrangler that we've talked about before. And then Jasper, of all people, said, hey, Tony, have you seen Wire Edit? And I was like, I have no idea what you're talking about. So here we are. So Wire Edit, a piece of software, runs on Windows. The thing that I found interesting with it, I tried to just run through this video. And the first thing it did when I tried to open a trace file, I said, hey, you need WinPCAP. And I thought, huh, that's kind of interesting because this is just editing a file. Uh, but yet it wanted WinPCAP, which who knows maybe it'll capture packets as well I've literally not played with it a whole lot more than maybe a few hours so here let me run you through it so you go to wireedit.com and you download the software uh, and it's it's at Omni packet which is good to know so there's um, that's the installation program let me just run wire edit there it is wire edit and there it is so I'm gonna take a trace file here oh yeah it doesn't support PN, PCAP NG yet, or doesn't support it at all. I don't know if it will or not. So I had to convert my trace file to a PCAP file, which isn't a big deal, but just something to know. So there you go. This is a fairly, I'm going to say fairly large trace file, but uh, it went through it pretty quick. And some of the things you might want to do with it is if you want to change something really specific, you can open this up, uh, go right into the IPv4 header. And if you want to change something, um, anything in the actual header packet IP address like for example this I want to change I just double click on it uh, go to this address whoops sorry about that go to this address and I can change that to 11 for example and then it just goes through the trace file and you pay attention up here and you'll see the 114 will change to 11 easy so that's a one-off so if you just want to change one packet kind of like I showed you with Wireshark and there you go but if you want to do the bulk change that kind of stuff uh, well I'll show you how to do that it's actually quite easy it's literally edit replace kind of like in a word document where you have you know replace same exact same idea so let's let's pick on this address 10.44 10.114 and I'm going to replace it with uh, 10.10.10.114 there you go how's that and of course you can see you've got a little more finer control but this is good enough and I hit replace all and we'll watch this 10 10 10 114 regardless of the port number and we'll see what happens and again it's going through this fairly large trace file it's you know, as you can see in the bottom corner it's almost 14,000 packets so it's kind of kind of quick for that and off you go so let's just see here I don't want to pause the video I just want I want you to see how long it takes to go through a trace file um, and there you go so a whole bunch of occurrences were replaced good to know and now if I take a look 10 10 10 114 see that it's that easy so neat little tool in case you got to change information in your packets because you got to give it to a vendor or you want to post it online that kind of thing uh, wire test uh, well, I'm sorry wireedit.com try give it a try and uh, hope that helps you out have a good day bye for now